Welcome back to On Base Live in your Bleacher Report app. I am Mookie Betts, and today we have Mr. Corbin Carroll. What's going on, my man? How you doing? Doing well, man. You? I'm good, man. Thanks for coming on the show. Um, you're a fan of the show. You said you've watched, uh, watched a couple of episodes? Yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you for your support, bro. Thank you. Now, now you're on here, and uh, all right, we'll get into it. So... You're the front runner for the rookie of the year right now. On pace for 30 30 season. You're balling, doing anything and everything to help your D backs win. How is that, bro? Like, how, what, what's it like? Like, did you dream of this? Yeah. I mean, um, definitely dreamed of this. Um, you know, maybe not it coming this early mm-hmm. and, and having, um, you know, some of the successes that I've had. Um, but. It's always been definitely the goal. And, you know, having the success early especially, it's, it's good. It's awesome, right? I'm not going to say anything negative about that. But sometimes it, it's kind of, it kind of lies to you, right? Because the game is not that easy. Right. And then you get humbled. You hadn't really been humbled. But you get humbled at some point, right? And so how do you balance, like, you know that, obviously. Right. But you don't go and expect it. You know, how do you balance, like, not expecting it but knowing that this game will hum- humble you? No, for sure. Um, you know, I feel like there there have been plenty of tough moments this year. And, um, you know, I just, it just feels like everyone has those stretches and it, it's baseball. Um, yeah, so what gets you through those stretches? But I, I think just staying process-oriented is the biggest thing for me. Um, taking the result out of it, good or bad, and, and just – being my own harshest critic, like when things are going good, going well, um, you know, what can I do to continue to attack my strengths before someone just attacks them for me? Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, when, when things aren't going as well, um, you know, just continue to work on the things that I know make me successful. Is, is the mental therapy side of it, is that like very important to you? I mean, I'm not saying it's, Obviously, you wouldn't say it's not important, but, like, do you really hone in on that? Um, you know, I'll go I'll – do, I'll do a mindfulness session every day. Um, that's something that I find just gives me a little bit of peace mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, just ability to kind of step out of my own head. Um, normally, I do it right before the game, and oh, I nice. feel like okay. that's what gets me locked in to, uh, to just go out there and, and play with, with uh, kind of that, that peace and that, that – clearness of mind nice yeah all right so we're gonna let's get into this game called on base off base you're in or you're out right okay so are you on base or off base the 2018 red sox outfield celebration is better than the diamondbacks outfield (laughs) celebration for this year on base or off base I might have to be on base with that one. Ah, that's I, my guy. I, I think uh, my guy. I think the 2022 D-backs had some some better sellies. This year, it's it's been lacking a little bit. We got to step lacking. our game up. All right, so what? what you, come on, bro. What are you gonna do? We we started running some football plays out there. You running football yeah, plays? We got the Statue okay. of Liberty. We got uh, what else? <laughs> you guys, a couple, couple screen water. bubbles. <laughs> <you know. laughs> okay. All right. So what about getting dropped off? Getting dropped off by your parents on your first day. On base or off base? Oh, on base, of course. On base. Tell me about that. Tell me how, because that's cute. That's cute. You know, like his parents came, dropped him off. Like it's, he was five going into first grade, you know. But how old are you? 20, 22. 22 going into a, a, a is that a diamond? Is that, in, is that in here in Arizona? Yeah, yeah. That was uh, what? 22. Home opener. Walking in a Diamondback Stadium. Giving his mom and dad a hug. That's cute. So tell me about that. Like, how, how was the in, car in the riding? Jackie Robinson dunks? Hello, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, tell me about that. Like, how was like you know the ride in? Were they nervous? Were you nervous? What was going on? Was there talking? No, they. Uh, so they, you know, wanted. To, they're, they're big supporters. Big, um, you know, just they they love watching me live my dream out, and so um, they, they'd flown down from Seattle um, to watch our home opener this year. And uh, I went to grab them from the airport, and then mm-hmm. we swung over to the field, 
And they want the car to go do some, do some chores. Oh, so it wasn't like, oh, you know, we woke up and said they didn't get your clothes ready and, you yeah, know, get you dressed. Yeah, it wasn't one of those. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's still cute, though. You know, it's still, it's still cute. So what about uh, on base, off base, bringing an NBA team back to Seattle? <sighs> Could not be more on base. Could not be more on base. You're, a, you're an NBA guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I grew up going to Sonics games. And you um, saw KD. I did see KD. How, like, how was that when you watched KD fresh out of college? I mean, I was, I was eight, yeah. so I don't know if I fully appreciated okay. what I was seeing. Okay. But, uh, you know, he, he was, you know, dominant right away. Um, and he was, he, he was seen wearing a, uh, wearing a, a Corbin Carroll jersey, too. Yeah, that was, that was pretty neat. That's um, cool, right? Yeah, that, that was. That's how you know you cold. <laughs> That's how you know you go. Look at it. There you go right there. Yeah, no, the, the Suns have been, uh, you know, really just real cool to us. Um, you know, Have you got to hang out with any of those guys? No, but they're just, they're at the games a, a good amount of time. Um, you know, they, there was a, a day for one of the players. Uh, it was oh, okay. like Cam Johnson Day oh, okay. at, at right. Chase Field. <laughs> okay. I think it was a lost bet or something. Yeah. Um, All right. And, uh, yeah, but they're, they're out there, and they've been really good to us. They, they enjoy watching the games. Uh, I've seen, I've seen. Um, a, a, a good amount of time the NBA guys have come over to uh, to watch the game. So what about seeing Barbie and Oppenheimer in the same, back-to-back, the same day? Because that was like a thing, right? It yeah. was called like... Barbenheimer? Bar- yeah, are you a Barbenheimer? What, 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 I don't even know what it would be called. But No, I haven't watched either. I'm not, I'm not the biggest movie guy. Oh, you're not um, a movie, um, big movie but guy. But I think that would be... A unique day, a memorable day for sure. So, so you're, but you're off, you're off, off, off base. Is that just too long in the in the movie theater, or you just don't go to go to the movie theater? Yeah, and, but you, you, when you grew up, you, as you grew up, it was Netflix that, was already <laughs> around and Hulu, and man, that's crazy. You didn't have to go to Redbox. Uh, you don't even know what Redbox is. No, there there was red. There that's crazy. There was Redbox. That was real young. There was uh, yeah. Oh, see, shoot. I'm gonna. You're gonna hate me for that. what's what's the blue and blockbuster. The yeah, block, yeah. <laughs> there, you don't was, know about blockbuster, there, man. There was That's blockbuster. Crazy. We'd go there when I was. Oh, real you do. Little. You yeah, know yeah. about blockbuster. Okay. Real, real little. Man, oh, real little. No, I knew enough to go in there, get my games, and come up out of there. I knew. I knew about blockbuster. Right. Shout out to blockbuster, man. I know you guys are gone now, but y'all was <laughs> dope when you were around. So let me say this. Uh, I, I got one more thing. Because I've seen that you guys do this, and it's playing board games with your teammates. It, you're you got to be on base with that. Yeah, yeah. It's so. Uh, what games do you guys play? Because chess, checkers, chess, chess has been the big one this year. Chess. Um, I got the chess board. I don't know if you've seen on Instagram. There's a chess board where you got the pieces and it lights up, and then oh, you man. pick one up and it tell you where your moves are. I'm trying to learn chess. You have that. Yeah, I oh, got it. I we, ordered We it need up. that. Yeah, we're you, terrible, but we oh, play every day. Yeah, so y'all are just wasting we're just having time. Fun. Yeah, we're okay, just having yeah, fun. Okay, not wasting time, but you know, just, just not. Nah, so none of you guys are good at, at chess. We'll throw we'll throw a couple extra queens on the board too, trying to even oh, out the game. Oh yeah, I don't um, want to play chess with y'all. Okay. <laughs> All right, so so <laughs> let's keep it moving, man. So you're having a great rookie season. You got you guys are young too. How is that? Looking around and, and you can say like I played with a lot of these guys coming up and this is kind of normal to me. Like how how is that? Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's special. Um, so I was drafted in in nineteen yep. and um, you know I'd say a, a good group of that twenty nineteen draft. Um, you know are, we're playing together on this stage and then you know you throw in the alt site in, in twenty twenty and um, kind of a, a group of minor league players together there. Um, Definitely have some some great bonds with these guys. Does that do, do you think that is a big part of why you guys are have been so good this year? Um, you know, early, late, uh, like you guys have been great. You know, been consistent, and and obviously every team is going to go through their ups and downs, right? Yeah. But for coming in where everyone had you guys projected, and right. then where you're playing now, this is awesome. And do, so, do you feel like? That that plays a part because we we've, we've been playing together for the last what couple of years. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I definitely do. I think just that that care you develop for those guys away from the field, um, you know, o- over the years. Um, I just I think that pays dividends on the field. And then okay, okay, so and you're from Seattle, 
From Seattle. From Seattle, and <clears throat> the All-Star game was in Seattle this year. So tell me about that. Your first All-Star game. First of all, let's just hear about your first All-Star game. How was it? How it was, was awesome. Got to hang out with guys like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, you know, it, it was a great mix of, like, young, exciting players in this league and then um, also, like, players that I, I grew up watching. And so that was that was a pretty, you know, just just cool moment to be recognized, um, you know, among players like that. And then it's at home. So how many tickets did you have to leave? So I went 21 tickets. 21. I heard that was the third most. I mm. think uh, – I heard Vladdy. I heard Vladdy had oh, the Oh, Vladdy most. had more? Yeah. Um, uh, that means he was, he did all that for free. <laughs> I'm glad. He, I, yeah, he won the home run derby, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah he won okay, the home yeah, run derby. He's, he's so all right. He, yeah, he, he ended up being all right. But if he didn't, man, he did all that for free. Yeah. He let, So 21 tickets, and I'm sure you had a ton of people just that just came. Yeah, yeah, it was a good mix. And so you made the starting lineup, and were you were you nervous at all? Well, like, I'm not necessarily nervous, but like anxious. You know, what what was it? Or were you just cool, calm? No, like that that was a little different. Um, you know, just it felt separated from. Um, you know, it didn't necessarily feel like real baseball. I'd oh, say yeah, in, right. in my mind, um, and I think a lot of that was just, you know, man, man Tory, um, You know, just just guys that had been there before, um, being like, hey, like just you got to have fun. You got to mm-hmm. slow down. You got to enjoy it. Um, and so I really took that to heart and, and just said, hey, the game's kind of the, the least important thing to me. I just want to be around all these people, um, you know, soak up their, their knowledge, their energy, and, uh, you know, just enjoy it. Were there, were there a good amount of guys that you got to, got, that you got to talk to, to to soak up some info? Yeah, yeah. Um, who, who in particular that you – give me one guy in particular that he gave you some good juice I'd say I'd say Arias with the, oh, the ice wow, cream okay. machine. Uh, all right, that's where all his hits are, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, so him, so and he's he's. By the way, what he's doing is ridiculous. You know, like I, that. Good for you, Luis. Good for you. But anyways, so you also said something to me that made me feel old, and I asked you, you know, who here. Did you that you're playing with? Did you watch growing up? And you had said me. Uh, there had to be someone else, right? Had oh, to be yeah. some. Had to be a lot of other people. But you said me, and it was super cool, man. You know, it, it meant it meant a lot to me that you watched me growing up. But it made me feel old, man. You know, I'm 30. And yeah, but you got in young. I did get in young. You know what's crazy? You signed a eight year deal. My deal's still longer than that. Like that's how much that's how much longer I'm gonna be around here, dog. So golly, that's ridiculous. But anyways, who else did you grow up watching that you got to play with? Because that's not a lot of people. I, I can say I got to play with Jeter. You know, I got to play a couple games with Jeter, and that is the person that I was kind of shaking when I met him. And so who was kind of like that for you that you got to play with? Yeah, I mean, I mean the the big guys were obviously, um, you know, Trout and, and, and Harper, um, but neither of them were, were there this year. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, Judge, um, Yelich, so Yelich oh, was yeah. another. Yeah, okay. You know, loved his swing growing up. Um, Man, that's crazy. Altuve, I liked. Uh, yeah, I mean, just just a ton of guys who uh, were any of the none of those, none of those guys were at the All Star yeah. game. So who, who were at the All Star game? Weird. At the All Star game, I'm trying to think. I mean, Freddie. Uh, did you get to talk to Freddie? A little bit. He probably didn't say much, did he? He offered me some cookies. That sounds about like Freddie. <laughs> he eats cookies before the games. Every uh, game? Uh, I mean, most some most 95% games. Ninety five percent. All right. He all eats right. cookies and he goes in there in his sliders and gets a couple cookies twenty minutes before the game. <laughs> Takes a couple flips and then he goes and gets three knocks. Yeah, I mean it's it's unbelievable what he does. So you got to play with Freddie, you got to talk to Freddie and and <clears throat> be at home. And did, did you stay home or did you stay at the hotel? Stayed at the hotel. I mean it was kind of a busy schedule, yeah, but uh, right. a- after the game um, went back home and um, you know took an extra day there and then flew to Toronto after that. And then okay, so and then so let's let's switch gears. So you're amongst the fastest guys in the league 
you've always been fast. Like, did you have to ever train? Did you ever train track or train anything of that nature? It's just kind of natural. So I did cross country growing up. Cross country. That, I was. I always thought of myself as more like a long distance guy. Right. Um, and then, you know, come high school, um, you know, wanted to focus in on baseball and was like, hey, maybe, you know, some, some shorter stuff might be a little more conducive to this. Mm-hmm. And uh, started training a little bit more, um, like sprinting. And then so did you know you were as fast as you are? Um, or did it just kind of happen like, oh, I didn't know I was this fast? Because you were running long distance, so you never really got to top speed unless you just run at top speed long distance. That's, yeah. That's, um, that's crazy. No, I mean, I, I always knew I could run for sure. Um, but I don't think I necessarily knew. Um, you were this fast. Yeah, I just knew how, how I stacked up, I'd say. And do you think you – I mean, I, do you think if you, Ellie – De La Cruz, Bobby Witt, you guys race. Who wins? I don't know. I mean, come on, bro. No, I don't know. You I gotta might. say a name, dog. Ellie, you, Bobby. So I saw I saw Ellie play this year. You I, I seen played Bobby? with Bobby growing oh, up you, okay. um, a little bit. <sighs> That's a tough one. But I might have to. I might I'm have let to you go. think about it. Think I might have to go it. Ellie. Oh, you can go with Ellie. Yeah. And this, I, I think I, he hit a triple on us, and I want to say he took, like, 20 strides total. I mean, he was just – and he was just gaining so much ground every every stride. He just runs with grace, and he's flying. Yeah, I can't say the same about you because the way you run, <laughs> it's not it graceful. looks like it hurt. No, it, you know, you got your chest out. It looked like oh, you're running cross country, but you, you're just running right there, though. You know, you're running 90 feet. Yeah, no, we got um, – I mean, we got a bunch of, of fast guys on, on the yeah. D-backs, but – we're all a little uh, shorter in stature. Yeah. And so we're Seemed all. Seemed like that's what they were going for. We're all arguing about Ellie. We're like, man, it's unfair. This guy's got everything. He can't yeah. be fast and tall. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got it all. So I heard there's a story about um, you and Dre Jameson. You guys oh, raced man. and he beat you. Oh, yeah. He, he flies. Oh, he can run he, too. He was going to uh, he was gonna pinch run for us this year. Oh, he so he's that fast. Yeah, yeah, he flies. I mean, he's beating you. He's, he's got to be that. So was, were you trying? Were you like, ah, I just woke up and rolled out of bed and didn't even warm up? No, I'm not, I'm not going not gonna to throw any context in there. Just he, he got me. That's a, that's a very nice way to, not, to, to say you rolled out of bed and didn't stretch or nothing. Shout out to you, dog. You're looking out <laughs> for your boy, man. So No, he <laughs> flies, though. He flies. You think you could beat the freeze? We just watched that too about what two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Think you could beat him? That's a long run too. Yeah. So like you ran long distance. Someone was and saying it was on dirt. So someone right was up your alley. That he uh, he's like a D three national champion. And so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna guess no. You're gonna guess no. Yeah. I mean he. Oh, okay. There he is. Yeah. That's that's it, it's super impressive what he does. I, I enjoy. I've only got to see it see it like twice, and he just gets. It seems like he gets faster and then maintains his speed where everyone kind of loses speed. You know, that's, that's a yeah. Long time. The, the time we were there, I think we were there what three three games and did they did they win? One guy one guy was ten feet away from the line and, and had him and, and tripped and fell. Oh man, I, I feel like when that goes on, everybody stops and watches it. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, there's no outfield teams, throws or anything. Yeah, yeah. everybody just stops and watches yeah. it. So let's go back to your journey, bro. Bro, so you were 13 and you played infield too. You play info come like in your left handed. So how was that? Like, was that fun? Was yeah. it hard? Yeah, I, I liked it. Um, you caught. I mean, yeah, I, I did. I caught. I played short, um, and then I got for all stars for twelve U. I mean, that's the little World Series year, right? So I got a little. Uh, got the thing from the short with the throw. Oh, so I moved to second. Mm-hmm. Moved to second. Uh, so you, how are you trying to double play? <laughs> how was that happening? Um, or you just didn't turn double plays? I mean. Just got to be an athlete, right? Yeah, yeah, you just figure it out. Good yeah. for you. So you left-handed playing second bla- second base, playing short, leading off. I think so. Leading off, remember. hitting dingers. Yeah. So you've been doing this your whole life. And so, and then you move to the outfield. And do, do, you, think, do, you, do you think you could play short in, in the big leagues, first of all? <laughs> Those guys hit the ball way too hard. <laughs> they hit it hard in there. I mean – We've got we've got some pretty good defensive shortstops yeah. on our club, and I'm like, let's let's leave it let's leave <laughs> yeah. it to them. So when when did you move to the outfield? Like, was it? You know, um, when did, when did you? Move yeah, like thir- thirteen, fourteen. Oh, because um, oh, left-handed. 
And yeah. You can't play first base because, you know. I, I played a little bit of first. You did. Yeah, that was like 13 and 14. I was like first and center. First and center. So I've got all sorts of gloves in my house. I've got the catching glove, the first base glove. And so when you go home, do you get to, do you ever, like, or in spring training, do you ever mess around at the other positions? No, no. Um, it's over with. Yeah, I, I always joke with the guys, though, that I'm going to, you know, put on another 40 pounds and go grab that first base glove one day. <laughs> it's going to be a small target. But, hey, it's a target nonetheless, right? <laughs> so, oh, I got a fact. You went to, you went to the same high school as Bill Gates? Yeah. So who, right now, not actually, in 10 years, who do you think the most famous, not richest, because we know that that's well in his bag, the most famous alumni from, from your school? Oof. You think you can, you think, you think it, it's you? I mean, I mean, Bill, Bill Gates is Bill Gates, but I'm trying to think who else. We got, oh, we got the, uh, the actor that, that played Batman. We got him. I don't know his name, but I know you're talking about. Uh, he got the deep voice. <sighs> I don't go remember which you. Batman, but a, a Batman. Oh, he's uh, the, and it's more Heath. Le- is it Heath Ledger or something like that? I, I can look it up, but uh, I'm trying to think. I forgot what his name. I, oh, Christian, 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 <sighs> no, uh, Christian it Bale. Like a, it was like an older. It was like the original Batman. I don't, you, I don't know. Were you around when that? When it was? No, Are you yeah, sure? No. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, my, Michael, Michael, you don't even know the name, huh? No. I don't even not a movie guy. You, yeah, you, yeah, you're not a movie guy. Yeah, and you, you you were only two when it came out. You ran a 40 in high school as well, and and in in shoes, and you ran a 4 or 5. Yeah. I, <laughs> this is by hand. Yes, yeah, by hand. So that means it's slow. Because ain't nobody, you know, I'm thinking they probably started a split second slow and ended a split second slow, unless... You know, so that means four or five. You really ran like a. I'm gonna give you like a four four in tennis shoes. Yeah, we we also that's another debate we'll have is like what can we run the forty in now? Um, and but, you got to be faster now than then. Yeah, stronger. I mean, that that was fun. that was freshman year of high school. Freshman year I was, in high school, I you ran a four or five. Yeah, you're going into freshman year, I guess. Um, it was so like you the football tryouts, f- right? Yeah, so and you- uh, we're a little late, a little late <laughs> getting there, a little traffic. I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm like, Mom, I can't be late on the first day. And uh, did she did she give you a hug when you when you went to tryouts too? No, no, it was run out of the car, sprint over to the mm. field, you know, uh, throw on the. Or I must have already had tennis shoes on. Oh, so you were already you were already loose because the adrenaline was like you're late. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you got in line me. and ran it. And then did did you make the, just based off that you made the team? Yeah, I, I told they said what I mean we. We weren't the most competitive football team, I'd oh, say. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, they're they're kind of just like, what do you, what position do you play? Yeah, what what position did you? Did you and so play? I said, I said quarterback and cornerback, and so Cor- just, quarterback and and cornerback. So I, I went for it, yeah. Qu- quarterback, though. Yeah. So did you play quarterback? I, I played. So freshman year, I played JV, and then I'd play a little bit in varsity. Quarterback, yeah. Genuine question, yeah. Well, not, not maybe not if y'all were that good. How did you? How did you see? You know, like did you did you see? Like, no. were you just you just hope they were there and threw it? No, not even that. It was immediate. I can't see anything. Let's go try and get outside the okay. pocket, and and then we'll we'll reassess from there. But yeah, and that was with the high school line, right? I mean, right. we've got we've got Kyler here in, in AZ. Yeah. And, I mean, he's got he's that's got crazy. Grown, he's, he's got grown man. Yeah, he's he's doing something. Different. No, but I'm talking about you because in eighth grade, I mean ninth grade. How how many years did you play football? Just one, just one just year. That freshman so year. you play your freshman year. Yeah, you had to be little. Yeah, I mean I was five six, five six, probably what a hundred and hundred thirty, hundred thirty pounds. Yeah, not not big. And what could you hold? Could you grip the football? Was it, were you strong enough to grip the football and, and launch that thing? Or? I mean, the, the throws were not – the throws were subpar. The, God, the running was my game. Run, I mean, good. So, and why, why didn't you – why did you stop playing? Um, I think just uh, – what, after – yeah, after freshman year, I, that was kind of when uh, baseball got a little more serious. It was like, uh-huh. hey, you know, um, these colleges are, are offering you. Um, Already? Yeah, after, after freshman summer. After freshman summer, you were getting offers. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I think maybe they've changed the rules a little bit now, but where it's like it has to be a little later. But I think that was, you know, for some of the better players, that was, you know, um, you know, not not abnormal. So for those of you out there who don't get the offers after your freshman year, that was me. Uh, they they took it all the way. They did it right. I was a junior, and I got a couple calls. It's okay. You you have time. Not everybody's Corbin Carroll. Anyways, so so you got called. You got how is that getting attention like that? Immediately. I mean, what uh, what was what did you do when the, you, you're getting these offers or, or talking to these coaches? I mean, you're. Five, six, one hundred and thirty pounds. You don't, you don't know what you're doing. I mean, you know you're balling, but you don't really know, you know what's going on in life. So how, how do you how did you accept all that? Yeah, and you know I got um, I got some of the best parents in the world. Okay. So they yeah, uh, so they're dropping you off. Yeah. So they uh, you they're know they kept me you know straight and uh, you know just kept kept me grounded and, and kept me you know here. What are your priorities? Um, so the coaches talk to your parents a lot. No, no, they wanted, they to yeah, they, they talked to me. Um, that was a big thing. Like, my parents were like, they want to get to know you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, you're going to be the one communicating with them. But just uh, all sorts of advice, you know, like just some different things to think about. Um, it definitely helped me and continue to this day to uh, just kind of think think the right way. And then you committed to go to UCLA? Yeah. What made you want to go there? Uh, the coaches. Oh, okay. um, I mean, that that's what really what I figured it out. Um, Where did you really want to go to school? <laughs> so, I mean, growing up, USC was my dream school. Oh, nice. Okay. That was, that was where, um, you know, Pops went. That was where my my long, my coach growing up went. Um, but, yeah, they, they weren't too interested. Wow. So, so you ended up at UCLA, or you signed to go to UCLA, and then you got drafted. And... You got drafted and said you felt like you were going to be a ranger. Yeah, I did. What? What? Tell, take me through your mind. How you just say I'm going to be a ranger? Like, you know, what? What was it? Did you want to, or did it, you know what was it behind the ranger? Where did ranger come into play? Yeah, so we had um, our. I, did, I was fortunate enough to do some of the the USA baseball stuff. Okay, um, just the the 18 U year, and uh, you know our director of of baseball for that. Um, Ended up going over to the Rangers, and uh, you know it was was kind of just like, hey, I'm gonna vouch for you, like you're you're my guy. Hey, uh, that's what he said. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so that that was part of it. Um, you know, I'd, I'd had someone I'd known growing up in the Northwest um, that that was over there too, and was like, hey, like you know, may, there might be a shot. Um, mm-hmm. So just that, you know, and you were cool with it. You were yeah. like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to go to, I want to go to. Yeah, I got Texas. you know. I or got was grand- it just like you didn't care? Yeah, I had grandparents in Texas, oh. um, so I was like, all right, like at least. So you was envisioned in Texas in your head. Just, just if you had to ask, if you, if I had to give my best guess, that would have been my guess um, going into it. But. And then when you got drafted to the D backs, yeah. were you like, but you know, what was your? Were you just grateful at that point? Were you like, man, I wanted to go to the Rangers? No, no, I wasn't like that at all. Um, I was, and not in a bad way. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. To the Rangers, um, but you know. No, I was, I was, I was pumped. Um, you were excited. Yeah. So it didn't really matter. You just the ranger was like that would have been that would have been a cool little thing because you would have known some people. I, how it, it was more just uh, I think I think the it got the way it got asked was like where where did you think that you were gonna go? Oh, okay. So I, I was mean, like that's where Rangers, I thought that's but, where it came yeah, from. No, I didn't. It didn't. Uh, you know, I didn't have too many like preferences right, there. Yeah, yeah. So and then you got drafted and you're playing, go through minor league ball. How was the minor leagues for you? Um, it was good. It was, it was weird. Um, you know, I didn't have, you know, the most typical minor league experience. I, I played my first half season in 19, uh, 20, we had yep. COVID 21. I played seven games and then got hurt the rest of the year. Yeah. So tell me about that. You, you hurt your shoulder yeah. on a swing Homer though. Homer. So shoulder went down a champ. Yeah. That, okay. So we had, Three first rounders in a row, all blow out their shoulders. Mm. So I did it on the swing. One of them did it on a dive, and one of them did it in, in BP. Same year? Uh, no, uh, yeah, just in like, general. It was twenty nineteen, twenty twenty one, and twenty twenty two. Golly, 
So at least, at least I did it the best way, right? I yeah. Got that over <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and then you, you're going through the rehab and you go take some classes at ASU. Yeah. What made you want to do that? Um, why well, I, I'd started it up during, during COVID got, mm-hmm. got bored. Um, boredom. Boredom yeah. strikes again. Yeah, got so bored. So boredom made you, you got bored. Instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to find a hobby or, or go do something. You said, I want to go to school. Yeah, yeah. Um, Good for you. You know, education's always been important to to me. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I just, my family stuck me in some some pretty, you know, some some nice schools. And so I thought it'd be a, a good way to, to show them how much I appreciated that. And uh, so I, I'd started it during COVID and then 2021, uh, you had the shoulders injury and I was like, all right, like I can kind of keep this going. So ended up getting about two, two years in. So um, you're two years in right now. Yeah. And then do you plan on finishing the, the last two years? So I would have gone back fall of 22, fall of last year, but I was like, hey, maybe there's a chance I get called up. Mm. And so I've I've been doing it at ASU, and uh, their school starts in like middle of August. And last year with the lo- the lockout and everything, mm-hmm. the season went yeah. late. Right? I think it went in the November. Yeah. And so I didn't know if I wanted to do a month and a half of school with, while well, possibly, you know, first big league experience. Yep. Um, so it's been on hold. So that means no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hearing, because <laughs> you know, I mean, you got you got ball, and I'm sure school will be it, it's going to be awesome, right? It's going to be awesome to have that degree, um, but I don't think you're going to need it. You we'll know, see. But, you we'll know, see. We'll, we'll, give, we'll, give me a couple years. We'll see. And now, like I said, sign the you sign the deal. So when you were negotiating back and forth, how was that? Was it fun? Was it stressful? Because that's a lot of money, and you know, people don't realize. You know, it's hard to just say no to fifty million dollars, right? When you were going back and forth, especially, and you're a rookie, you're young, you don't even really know how the business works, and now you're getting an extension. How was that? How was that process? I mean, tell me, tell me about your parents too, because you know I'm sure they had a big say so in this. Actually, a little less probably than you'd think. I, I kind of wanted to keep. Um, there, there was just a lot going on, right? First spring training, like trying to make the club, mm-hmm. um, then this contract extension stuff, and then just trying to be, you know, a normal person and, and have those relationships away from, from the field. And so, I, I kind of um, kept that more between me and my agent. Um, but I, w- I wouldn't say too stressful. It, it was pretty pretty simple in my mind. Of it's just it's it's either going to be yes or no. And it, mm-hmm. it is what it is. It's going to make sense or it isn't. And um, you know, just every night um, would hop on the phone with the agent for about about an hour. Um, you know, might end up being mm-hmm. a little longer, a little shorter depending yeah. on the day. But um, just that felt good to be that involved. Um, it made me feel like we'd exhausted every opportunity and, uh, you know, every structure, every, um, you know, length, um, to, to kind of find something that, that made sense to, to both sides. And what about the Diamondbacks made, made you want to, you know, you know, made you sign the extension because obviously it's a great organization. You got Tory who I know and love, and, and the front office, I think they drafted me. Yeah. So you got a great crew around you, right? But what outside of that, what about the Diamondbacks made you say, you know what, I can be here for a while? Yeah, um, I, I love AZ. Um, I love I love being here. You know, even around. when it's hot like this. I mean, we play inside; it's all good. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Um, but it it really came down to the people for me. I, f- I feel like we've got a special group of people. Um, you know, this uh, even I'd say, especially during my injury um, and just the, kind of the care and, and just genuineness that people showed me, whether it was in the front office, whether it was Tori shooting me a call or popping over to the complex and, and checking on us. Um, just the things like that, as well as, as the players, like you said, you know, I played with in the minor leagues and, mm-hmm. and 
really got to see you know the, the level of talent that we have um, it was just it, it made me feel good okay so what was the first thing you bought when when you uh, after you signed uh, I'm trying to think so opening opening weekend or opening week whatever it was in in LA right mm-hmm. uh, we went over to the the jewelry store with with uh, a buddy out there and I, I got a little necklace Got a little necklace. Yeah. Do you wear it? Do you, do you, you wear it every day? Or yeah, I got it on right now. Well, I mean, let me see. Yeah, flash show. Yeah, little, just a nice little. Man, that yeah. ain't little. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Nah, don't don't tuck it in. <laughs> leave it out. <laughs> nah, we Debo ain't coming. He ain't gonna come take your chain, man. Oh you gosh. can leave it. You can yeah. leave it out. But uh, no, I mean, it's cool. So you got that, and you haven't gotten anything else. Yeah, I mean, it's been something I've been. I wanted a little necklace for for a little while, a couple of years, and I was like, "All right, let's 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 do it." Did you get your mom or dad or you got a brother, sister? What, yeah, I got a younger talking? sister. A younger sister. You get your sister anything? Uh, dog. Oh, yeah, I can tell by the way you look. Yeah, you ain't I got your sister done, man. So, <sighs> how old I don't I don't know if I want to put this out. I, hopefully, she doesn't hear this, but no, she's gonna hear it. <sighs> she's gonna hear it. I, I tried. I tried to get her a car. Uh, and my parents said no. Oh, uh, <laughs> dang. They said, uh, yeah. Sorry, sis. <laughs> it's coming, yeah. though. You know, whenever mom and dad say yeah. Yeah, I mean, how ridiculous is that? No, they said. That's crazy. She, yeah, they said she's got, you know, she's got a good thing going. She's she's super hardworking. How old know. is she? She's seven or 18 now. She's just turned 18. 18. Yeah. Um, but so she's uh, going to play some soccer in, in college. Like, is just, she fast? Does she? Is yeah, she, she, she flies. Like and she's tall. Oh, and she's tall. Where did that? Okay, so my dad's six four. Oh, dang! He just skipped you, man. Yeah. I got screwed, huh? Dog, it's yeah, it's all right. I mean, you play big though. <laughs> you 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 play big, and you know, but that's all. You just play like that. You just don't look like that. We both little, you know. Yeah. But it is. So she's tall. Yeah. And she run fast. Left footed. Left. Left. So everybody's left handed, in, yeah. in around the family. Yeah. From mom, mom's side. Yeah. Okay, so and she's a soccer player. She's gonna go play soccer in college. And is she on the team? You is she? Was she getting calls when she was a freshman and everything too? No, no, she uh, she I'd say developed a little later. Okay, uh, but so she's normal. <laughs> yeah, she's normal. Good for her. Yeah. I want to meet your sister she's, one day, she's man. The best, though. Sister, yeah. come to a game, please. I want to shake your hand, say hi, look up and say hi. You know where I'm looking at Corbin. We're looking kind of eye level. Um, but look up and say hi. I want to meet your parents too. Whenever they come in, awesome. they seem like some uh, some super dope people. Um, I do want to kind of ask them not to be mad at you for not see since they didn't since you didn't really use them in the contract negotiations. You know, because you probably you didn't really think that y- I'm gonna be here with you and, and we in L.A. You know, we balling in L.A. You know, so you are gonna have to come through us. <laughs> You know, we're going to have some battles for the next eight years. And then after that, we'll see you. Know, I'm, I'm going to be on my way out. You know, you yeah, know, I love that, contract. though. That's good. It's going to be awesome. And yeah, I it's going to be fun. Uh, I think, you know, AZ, maybe a little smaller market, right? I think we're maybe yeah, we're the job all in. Yeah, we're, the, we're the, you know, the, the little bit of that underdog, right? Yeah. I, I, like, I like being the. I like you like being, being underdog. Yeah, I like being well, kind of in that position. Look, I'm going to just tell you, we ain't going to make it easy. So you're going to have to come ball, which you always do. So I, um, you, you done Immaculate Grid? I've, I've tried to help out some friends. I've never done it myself, but. Well, we'll before we get into the Immaculate Grid, there was something that happened the other day. You don't have to make that face because you don't have to think about it. As soon as I say something, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. In Cleveland. Ooh. Yeah, there was a uh, a brawl that kind of went on, and to me, you know, when you're playing a sport, trying to feed your family, you're around the boys all day, every day for eight months, including spring training. You know, things just kind of boil over. It could be anything, right? Somebody just accidentally trip you and. It could be guys could be having a bad day. You never know. And so uh, that happened, and that was kind of crazy. 
I would have been the umpire. The umpire, he started in there, named Matt. He started in there, and he backed out of there. He was out of there quick. You guys can have it. That's what I would have did, you know. But I did want to just say, like, you know, things like that happen, man. And it is T.A. is my boy. T.A. me T.A. is really my boy, and he got him. You know what I'm saying? He just got got. You know, sometimes it it is what it is, and it, 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 but. You know, that, I think it's just really just things kind of just boiled over and, and somebody's probably just having a bad day. I know, I know you don't have to. We, we had a team meeting about it. Oh, you guys had a team meeting? Yeah. So, I mean, you don't have to give me all the details about the team meeting, but, like, give me something about the meeting. One, one Play, meeting. Players only. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, tell me. Basically, the, yeah. you don't have to tell we, me we said everything. that. We said if, if someone gets knocked out on the field, Mm-hmm. There is no way that there's not a not, nothing thrown after that. Oh, I mean, you, no no one fought after. Yeah, that was, was kind of just the, uh, they, yeah. They kind of stood around. Yeah. They did. You got you got to protect your around. boy, right? You do got to protect your boy, and you know if there is a fight that breaks out with us, I love us. I love you guys. I love you guys to death. I don't. I'm just gonna be pulling people out of there. <laughs> don't expect me to come. Throw elbows, punch. I'm just not made like that. All right, so so that's that's our agreement. If we ever brawl, we'll we'll come hold each other back. <laughs> Truce. <laughs> All right, so now let's get to the immaculate grid on a on a lighter note. Um, you've done it before. You're young. Yeah, I don't. But I you're don't. a baseball. You're a baseball fan though, so you should know some of them. <laughs> I'd say I'd say my knowledge here is about as good as my my movie knowledge. So you might be in trouble. Well, you went to college though, so I mean, you went to college, so you got more more knowledge now, right? I don't know if that correlates at all, but that's just my thought. <sighs> might, I know the this first might one. be bad. This Bartolo might. Colon is the first one. Rangers and and Blue Jays. Rangers and Blue Jays. I feel like I know that. I want to say uh, twenty plus seasons. Oh, uh, plus what wins. about Verlander for Detroit Mets? Oh, you talking about Detroit Mets? Yep. Yeah, you can do Verlander for the second one. Yep, Verlander for the second one. Under, under. I'm sorry, under. And then to the right, who played with Toronto? I mean, we just Texas. talked about all that fight. All I'm, all I'm thinking about is Jose Batista right now. He played with Texas. Did he play no, with Texas? No. Well, that was that was the brawl. Right? Oh yeah, that that one was mean. That one was nasty too. I didn't know. I didn't know baseball players had haymakers like that, man. See, now <laughs> that's why I'm staying out of there too, because you don't never know <laughs> who gonna be, you know, throwing punches like that. Um, let's go with the la- uh twenty. Uh, is Cole Hamels? Cole Hamels, you think? Is that a uh, 20 did he ever have 20 wins with the with Texas? I mean I'm trying to think of all the pitchers with Texas and I I'm sure there's a I'm Nolan Ryan maybe. Uh yeah, he had to have, right? No. What about uh 20 wins? Yeah, Nolan Ryan didn't he play with Texas? What about Tom Tom Seaver? Tom, for, yeah, maybe for, I don't know. I'm not a. For I'm Mets, not like a baseball. For Mets 200 guess. Tom Seaver for the last guy on the on the left column. Yeah, I, I'm not like a. I'm a basketball guy, so I. Oh you know, man, doing these. This, this, this is actually teaching me a lot about all right, all right. baseball. So you just taught me something, Tom Seaver. See, that's college. You went to ASU. Shout out to ASU for uh, teaching him some knowledge, some baseball knowledge. Yeah, what. Uh, 20 wins. I'm trying to. Toronto and Detroit. <sighs> Who played with Toronto and Detroit? I don't, I don't know none of these. 200 Ks in this season. I mean, the Blue Jays aren't that old. I feel like. I know. I want to. S- and I remember looking up and seeing all the names up there. And oh, yeah. I can't I can't remember the names because it's been like five years, five or six years since I've been to Toronto. We're trash. Yeah, three uh, three out of nine, that's tough. My yeah. uh, 
My yeah, high, you said it though. You my high school coach is gonna be mad at me for is this he? one. Uh-huh. Yeah, he he normally gets eight out of nine. Eight out of nine. Yeah, he's he's good at them. Dang, sorry, high school coach. You know, we we try, man. My my high school coach, he would probably be mad at me too because he could do all of these. But um, sorry, sorry, man. We we try, we try, coach. Yeah, can we take the grid off? That's embarrassing. That, that's embarrassing. We're gonna go to the next thing. What about uh? So now I got some fan questions, bro. Before we wrap. I got some fan questions um, for Corbin. Ichiro is your favorite player. Who's your the, – the Mount Rushmore of outfielders for, of all time for you? Of all, all time. time? Of all time. Oh, man. I mean, I feel like you got to go Mantle. Uh, Maze. This might be a, a two-person Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Mano and Maze. Who else? I mean, is Ichiro not on there? He's your favorite player. I mean, he's on mine. That's why I'm asking yours. Okay, yeah. Ichiro. And Trout. That's a good that that's a good. And you know what's crazy is the fact that you said trout that that lets me know how young you are. <laughs> that is crazy. Mm. Good for you, Mikey. You made it. All right. So <clears throat> another another fan says, I love the Diamondbacks fits. What's your what's your favorite uniform combination that you guys have? So we got the uh we got the pinstripe purple, yeah. purple and teal coming back. Oh, uh, okay, that's we coming got back. That, uh what I think the Padres series this weekend. They're, they're bringing it out. Is it just a, a throwback? Or yeah, or just... yeah, but I, I love those unis. And so I like you guys as a Serpientes okay. uh, jerseys. They get well. some hate sometimes, but I, I'm with you. Really? I, I like them too. I, 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 really, I really do like those jerseys. I like, uh, and I like the, uh, do you guys have the, the uh, vest anymore? Do you wear the vest anymore? So that's, that's the one that's Oh, that's out. the same yeah. one. Okay, that's yeah, the same yeah, one. Purple, okay, yeah. that's going to be super dope. So I got one more question. Mm. It's a would you rather? Would you rather shave all your hair or lose all your teeth? It's, it's got to be the hair, right? Hair's got to go. It's got to be. Hair's got to go. I mean, I couldn't even imagine having. Think about it. You have. There's so nice, many more problems. Yeah. You can't. What eat, can you eat? You can't talk. I don't know what else you could do. I mean, but you would look good. I mean, you can't smile. So Man, no, you wouldn't uh, look good. You wouldn't be nothing. I you mean, gums. Oh, oh, could you get could you get some, some fake teeth though? Yeah, but that 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 wouldn't that wouldn't be. Would you rather? You know. What I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah. You know, so you only got one. All right, yeah. But, it's got to be the hair. Yeah, it got to be the hair. So we're gonna get ready to wrap, man. I thank you for coming on. Um, you know, the super dope, super super good to see like young guys, the head on their shoulders, doing things the right way. You guys are playing the game the right way. You're leading the team, um, even though you guys are so young. I know you got, like, Christian Walker in there, uh, guys that have been around for a while. But, you know, you're a very, very important piece of this Diamondbacks team, and it's good for you to know that. And I think you already do know that. And embrace it. Because the hard part that I had to learn is being good and embracing it. A lot of people tr- are good, and they say, no, nah, you know, I'm not that good or – Nah, you know, it's not about me. It's about the team. And it, it is about the team, right? But also, you know, you got to play well in order for the team to be doing well. And that's just kind of a fact. It's yeah. just, and, and the more you embrace that, the better you'll be over a longer period of time, the more consistent you'll be. Because it'll just put you in a different mindset. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good advice. And, you know, def- just want to take a moment to to appreciate the fact that, like, you know, 14, 15 year old Corbin would be um, just freaking out if he knew that, you know, he'd be here talking to you, um, you know, sitting here as, as you know, somewhat of peers. Um, and so I just want to appreciate peers. that. That's yeah, of course. Cool. Of course, man. Of course, man. Again, let me know when your folks are coming. I want to meet them. They seem like some awesome people. Tell your mom if she can, we stay at. Right. The hotel. It, I would like to get dropped off too. 
Just, <laughs> mom, please come drop me off too. And so uh, I've been looking forward to hearing from you, mom, dad, and sister Corbs. He going to be running long distance to the stadium. So I will see you there. And uh, that's a wrap, guys. We'll see catch you guys uh, next time.